Hey guys, John here. So today I thought I'd try something a little bit different with my reviews by going all hands in front of the camera styley. And what better way to start off with not a transformer, uh, but a visionary. And this visionary is Leoric. He's from the SDCC 2017 Revolution IDW box set thing that comes with a jet fire already have. I have a mat tracker. No, I don't have that mat tracker that comes in the box set that everybody's quite upset about for some silly reason. Uh, and equally, um, I don't really know what Rome the Space Knight is. And I'm not the biggest fan of G.I. Joe, but Visionaries... I am a big fan of and I've been waiting for a proper sort of classics reimagining of Visionaries for a long time and this is probably as close as we're going to get for a few years. So I thought I'd pick him up thanks to those lovely people on eBay and I'm just going to do a quick video on him and show him off a little bit for you. So let's have a look at this Leoric figure shall we? Let's bring him in a bit closer. Not too close mind. Uh, oh. The hologram, his totem on his chest, I should say, not his hologram, it has this nice lovely effect when the light hits it. You can see it changes. That's pretty cool and I think if they do bring back the Visionaries franchise and give us a sort of classic look, you know, this is the way to go. Look at that, that's pretty awesome. In terms of his posability, he has pretty much everything the Joes do. You've got your elbow joint there, you've got your wrist swivel, you've got the double jointed knee, you've got that healthy thing with his foot. The only thing you don't get is an ab crunch. Oh yeah, and you get his, you know, his ball joint there. Um, head sculpt, you know, pretty nice there. I quite like that. It always looks a bit like Freddie Mercury to me. Uh, round the back there, they've nailed the, the design of his armour pretty well. So let's take a look at his accessories and then we'll chuck them on him. So let's start with Leoric's accessories. So here we are, he does have his G.I. Joe obligatory stand, uh, yet it does have the Cobra symbol at the bottom for some reason. Maybe it's just been a recycled stand, I don't know. Uh, unlike the Mark Tracker that came out a couple of years ago, it doesn't have any code name for him, he's just Leoric because he doesn't need a code name. You get his whip made of a sort of soft plastic, uh, quite malleable, pliable, uh, but I wouldn't want to try and uh, test that too much by stretching it completely straight. Pretty cool, nicely well done. Uh, it holds it okay. You have his helmet. Lovingly done there. Pretty much spot on to his cartoon uh, version and also uh, his toy version as well. Of old. And saved the best for last, his power staff of wisdom. And again, as you can see, it has that nice cool light hitting effect that his totem does. Nothing on the back. Uh, the staff doesn't have the sort of prudent sticking out lines like the original figures had. It has the same effect, but they don't stick out as well. If you had the original figures, you'd know what I mean there. If you haven't, go buy a couple. All right, so I'm just going to stick on his accessories and see how he looks as a complete package. And here's the Auric with all the accessories attached. Really, really happy I picked up this figure. I hope that Hasbro, when they do this shared cinematic universe um, with the Visionaries, obviously they're going to do brand new designs, but hopefully, just like the Transformers, they'll do a classics line along with it, because this is a really excellent update using the Joe mould with some mods. Um, I'm really happy to have it. Sure, I probably paid over the odds rather than buying the box set, but like I said earlier, there was nothing in the box set apart from this figure that I really wanted. Uh, here is the original Matt Tracker figure that came out a couple of years ago for comparison. The same size, although Matt Tracker does look a bit bigger. Um, and the, my Matt Tracker is showing signs of yellowing, but the figure itself is quite old these days. came out a few years ago. So, overall, would I recommend this figure? Absolutely. Um, if you're interested in the figure and also the other characters, then by all means go for the full box set. Um, if not, you can get the you know individual figures, uh, usually on eBay, quite easily. Well, guys, that's my review, 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 review of uh, SDCC exclusive Leoric. I'll be back next time with my usual regular Transformer videos. Ta-ta for now.